We have already completed the necessary steps to begin scripting with Selenium Web Driver with Java in previous videos. We have already installed Java programming language on our machine and also we have installed an IDE called IntelliJ on our system. In this tutorial, we will create a simple Java project in IntelliJ. We will add Selenium Web Driver dependency as a jar file and we will try to launch a browser and navigate to the URL. This will be our first basic script using Selenium Web Driver with Java. So on the screen you can see this is the welcome page of IntelliJ IDEA and here I am going to click on new project. So click on new project and here you need to give the title of your project. I am giving the name as Selenium with retarget common. If you want you can change the location of the project but that should be fine. It will be a Java project, simple IntelliJ project and I am going to use JDK 11 because Selenium will not support Java 8 anymore. And this is a non-Maven or non gradle project. Now click on create. We know that we are going to use Selenium web driver with Java but that doesn't mean that when you install Java automatically all the Selenium things will be present. The developer of Selenium has created the Java binding for us. and we need to explicitly add those bindings in our project. So to get the Selenium dependency, we need to go to official website of Selenium web driver, selenium.dev. On the home page, we see one option called downloads. And here if you come, here you can find all the bindings for different programming languages like C sharp, Ruby, Java, Python, JavaScript. So I'm going to use Java and the latest version is 4.14.1. One. Click on this version and it will start downloading the jar file for you. So here you can see download is completed. Click on show all downloads and click on show in folder. Since this is a zip file, I need to extract it first or unzip it. So right click on this file and select extract all. This option might be different in different operating systems and it's going to extract all the files in the same folder. But the this time it will be unzip. Click on extract. So now you can see we have so many executable jar files in this folder. Now I need to use these bindings in our project whatever we just created in IntelliJ. To add any external jar file in the existing project we need to click on this icon then go to project structure. Left hand side we see options like project modules. Select modules and here we have one option called plus. Click on this plus sign and here option you can see jars or directories. Click on it. Now go to the folder location where you have extracted those Selenium jar files. That means we need to go to downloads and this is the folder name we have selected and literally here you need to add all the jar files extend the lib and select all the jar files. Click on OK. So here you can see we have added 41 jar files. Click on apply and ok and if you now expand the external libraries here you will find all those jar files have been added now we are good to write our first selenium web driver script so as part of this first script of selenium web driver with java we are going to launch the chrome browser and we are going to navigate to selenium.dev website and we want to extract this title here so first question how to launch a browser. So it's really simple. Whatever browser we want to launch or work with, we have separate class for it. Like if you want to open a Chrome browser, then we have a class called Chrome driver. If you want to open Firefox, then we have Firefox driver. So it's really easy to launch any browser with Selenium web driver. So in the SRC, I am going to create one new package. Right click on SRC, select new and select package. I will write basics and I am going to add a new class first script and let me add a main method that is public static white main. So I need to launch Chrome browser. So we have a class called Chrome driver and this class is coming from Selenium dependency whatever we have just added. So to launch a browser we need to create an object of that is specific class. That means I need to create an object of Chrome driver to launch the Chrome browser. That's all we need to do. So Chrome driver, give the name as Chrome driver itself, new Chrome driver. Just the one line is enough to launch 
Chrome. If I run this program now, I'm expecting that it should open Chrome browser, but it will not do anything because we have not navigating to any URL. So here you can see it has launched the Chrome browser and it shows something Chrome is being controlled by automated test software that is Selenium. Let me close the browser. Now the second step, we need to launch any URL or navigate to any website. For that, we have simple method which we can call using the Chrome driver object. That means Chrome driver and we have one method called get. You can see this get method takes one string argument and here actually I need to pass the URL of the website where I want to navigate. So let me copy the URL and paste here. Once URL is loaded in the Chrome browser, I need to extract the title. So title of any web page will be the name you see in the tab. And also if you want to see what is the title, you can right click and go to inspect inside head tags here we have one tag called title and we are going to extract this title value using selenium to extract the title again we can call the method using the chrome driver object reference that means chrome driver dot get title and the return type of this method is a string so let me store into another variable called title and i am going to print this title using the sysout let me run this main method and we should see Chrome browser should be launched and it should navigate to selenium.dev URL and it should give me the title. So you can see it has been launched. Selenium official website is open and if I go to console here it is saying title is selenium. After performing all these steps you can see Chrome is still open. So generally after performing all these actions we should close it for that. Again, we have a very simple method to close the browser. For that, I can use Chrome driver dot close method. The return type of the close method is void. Let me rerun this method and this time you can see browser will be closed after performing all those actions. So you can see it has printed the title and a browser is already closed. So these actions I have shown you using the Chrome browser, but you want to use Microsoft Edge or if you want to use Firefox browser for that we need to create an object of those specific classes that means if I want to use Edge then we have another class called Edge driver and we need to create an object of that class here I have just changed Chrome driver to Edge driver and if I run this program now this time it will open Microsoft Edge instead of Chrome. So you should have noticed that it has opened the each browser and quickly navigated to the URL and printed the title. It was too quick. But in the console, we see some warning message as well like an existing connection was forcibly closed by remote host. This I will explain in some another video. But this is the way we can work with any browser. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.